All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do pumps like me. Um, they're pretty simple, pretty basic, but I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so I have the song right here on top, and then I have the picture right here. It's a picture of me. Don't ask. So first, it's a bass, and then it's a clap, and then it's a bass. So on the bass, what I do is I do a pump. So what you're gonna wanna do is create an adjustment layer. Go over here to your effects. Look for transform. Put it on top. Set the scale to 175. Press U once you press enter. Go over here. Set it to 100. Go over here. Set it to 100. We're gonna set it to 100 at the start actually. And, then, and this is the other base. So we're gonna put the 100 in the middle. And we're gonna add another 175. And then we're gonna set it to 100 again. And now you're gonna easy use those with FN, F9. It's on a Mac, I don't know, Windows. And you're gonna set these like this. This one all the way down. Make sure it goes down, but not passing this yellow thing right here. Usually just at the line right here. Well, at the line right there. That voice crack, okay. All right. So that's the pump. Now we need to add shake on the pump. So we're gonna highlight all of them. You're gonna right click. And you're gonna put pre-compose. Now you're gonna right click again, make a new adjustment layer. You need to have Sapphire plugins for this too. So you need to have dissolve shake, put it on top. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna set this to 100. Set this to the pre-comp. I usually put this all the way up to like 20 something. I set this to 12, set this to one. Make sure it's on. And now we're gonna mess with the percentages. Okay. Like that much. I don't know how many frames that is. It's probably like six, seven frames. F9. This is gonna be a really fast tutorial. It's not even a tutorial, just, just watch what I'm doing and just copy it, I guess. All right, so this is the pump right here. I usually move the seed to see what it looks like. All right, that one doesn't look too bad, but I need more. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna open up the Y and give it more on the wave amplitude and also on, I mean, yeah, on the X and the Y. That's how I like it right now. We're just gonna copy it, and when it pumps over here, we're gonna put it right here, but you have to put it one frame in front, because that's where it actually does the pump. All right, now on the clap, we're gonna add a different type of shake. And we have to look for the clap by going here into the song, dropping down the waveform. And it's right here, it's this little bump right here. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna copy one of these shakes. Again, put it one frame ahead, but now we're gonna turn off that shake. We're gonna set this one to zero, this one to zero, and this is the one that we're gonna turn up. We're gonna turn up the Y axis. And we're gonna put it one more back, it looks like it's a bit off. We're not gonna save it. And now for that, we can add a transformation, which we're gonna make an adjustment layer. And I'm gonna put Baker's Tuts, because I always use Baker's Tuts. Click U, set it on the clap. Bring these way closer. Way more closer, like that. We're gonna set it to negative 150 around-ish there. Go here, bring these closer, just like the transform. Boom, and like that. And I keep saving on accident. And we gotta make sure it's transforming on the middle, which it wasn't, okay. And that's how I do my pumps. And then usually sometimes 
on top of that pump as well I go here and I make another adjustment layer and I use easy shake you might need to find that that's like a separate random plugin but I just put easy shake And once the next effect starts, that's where I end the, the easy shake. And I'm just going to leave it how it is right now. But I'm going to set it. You have to set this in the middle. And so it goes. And it like wiggles it. Wiggles it. What the heck? No, it does not wiggle it. It just makes it shake back up. And that's how you do it. All right, guys, if you guys want a tutorial, let me know if I'm doing this tutorial horrible, like really wrong and you guys want me to go like more in detail. But that's basically how I do it. It's pretty simple. You just copy and paste those over and over again throughout the edit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.